my name is Michael, aka Rickshaw, and you are nerding out with Rickshaw. She got Toby on that one. He was looking at me like, when am I supposed to push the button? Yeah, I was very confused. Gonna change it up. <laughs> <laughs> and you're also nerding out with. Hey, guys, I'm Fuzz. What's up, nerds? It's Rabbit. And I am the producer, Toby. <laughs> but, uh, guys, I don't know who he here likes to do the 31 for 31. Uh, that's whenever you pick one horror movie every day. Uh, for every day of Halloween, or October, I mean. So uh, we decided to do it, you know. I guess we watch enough horror movies, like me and Rabbit anyways, probably that you could just play this game a lot most of the time, <laughs> you know around. what I mean? Because <laughs> I just usually am searching for a good horror movie that's actually worth a shit, and because they come out so like often, especially when it's streaming. You get like... You get six movies that are super low budget that you've never heard of and no one will ever talk about like every day, you know what I mean? Or every week. So it's just like, there's times where it's like, you hear about something and you're immediately like, oh shit, they've been talking about this. And you don't even know if they're saying good things. It's like people on the internet are just like, say a name of a horror movie. And if you see it a few times, you're like, they're talking about it. Let's go watch it. You know? So that's the way movie horror movies are in my world. I know that uh, some of y'all can agree. Not fuzz, but y'all. Toby, what do you think? Uh, yes. Yes what? Elaborate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, you caught me in the middle of doing yes. something. <laughs> oh. oh, wow, dude. Lock the door. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, was trying dude. To, I forgot to do Are that. you looking for ticks? You know, that's my <laughs> excuse. You know? Looking for ticks? No, I, was, I was getting our, our, uh, our thing ready. Um, I, I mean, ticks? yeah, usually. What are you talking about? The, 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 the graphics in a minute. You'll see it in a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was getting my dick ready. I mean, my thing, the thing. I was getting the, I was thing, getting the ready. thing ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but turns out that's what you call your dick, the thing. I mean, so, I, th you know. <laughs> I think we get a lot more horror movies in general because they're just, they're, I feel like they're more universally loved than like romance movies. And like, they're not even putting comedies in, in most movie theaters anymore. You know, they're all straight to streaming services at this point. You know, it's very rare that you get a, a comedy i mean what was the, when was the last time an adam sandler movie hit theaters well it's paid trillions all. of dollars from nets well that too it's yeah i mean there is that movies. that side too but I, go, I yeah they go straight to streaming yeah they all go straight to streaming. which a lot of horror movies do too but also like comedy's dead right now because it is can be, nothing can be joked about so everything right you know, so it's you can't it's make hard. a comedy movie now. but but it's also like with horror movies they are so prominent because you can make a, a horror movie for a low budget and return the return on it is fucking crazy because like you know younger people or people going on dates and like things like that they all want to go to a horror movie especially if it's like kind of uh, word of mouth like pretty good uh i don't i don't i don't necessarily think it has to be known as good if it's in the theaters and most people will watch it if it's marketed a lot you know what i mean so but I think it's cool. It's just getting kind of ridiculous because sometimes, like, like for instance, Skin I'm a Rink. I don't know if anybody saw that movie. I never but watched it, was, it, but I know about it. Was it. Like, it was like blowing up all over the internet about how it's like the scariest low-budget movie, like the lowest budget for any movie to like hit theaters and all this stuff. And then you watch it and you're like, yeah, this looks like shit. <laughs> and then you're like, what's that humming noise? Why is there a humming noise through the whole movie? And then literally they don't really focus on any, like there's never a scene where like the character is like, it's like in the middle of the camera. <laughs> like, like everything like takes place. They like film the wall and then someone in the room is talking and shit like that to where you're like, what's going on? So like, there's so many horror movies that like get, sometimes good regard and then you are like why are we talking about this movie it's like it's nothing you know what i mean so but you know i say that but also filmmakers are doing things so we gotta give them their props i guess so but yeah anyways guys uh <laughs> we're gonna we're doing 31 for 31 fuzz is not gonna do it but the rest of us will Tried to let uh, them talk me into doing candy, but they said no. So we're gonna do candy. We're gonna do it later. We have we have 
so many more shows. There's like five weeks in Halloween this year. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know. That's not <laughs> the point. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, also, guys, remember New Line Cinema? They, uh, they actually put all of their eggs into the Nightmare on Elm Street basket, and that was like their first movie, and that's what made them a company. So starting with that one, on my list, Boom. that one, Nightmare on Elm Street, the original, is the one that I watched. It's a great fucking movie. It is so Such good. a great fucking movie. That's dude. the first movie that scared the shit out of me as a kid. Was it? Was it the the? Is that the one with the bathtub scene? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That movie Most... fucked my world up because of the bathtub scene. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like as a kid. I didn't want I I man that and it fucked my world up on that shit like it was it's a great pulls, movie great fucking movie when he pulls Johnny Depp through the bed oh yeah no. that's, Depp. oh my god yeah. that's the oh scene that fucked trying me to up. stay that's, awake yeah that scene trying to is stay crazy. awake dude actually oh my yeah god. so many uh, first of all we could all relate because it's like we've all had times where we're like dead ass tired and we're trying to stay awake you know what I mean no matter the scenario you're just like. I got to study for a test. I never did that, but you know, I got to study for a test. <laughs> you or I got some shit going on. Passenger van yeah. with yeah. some other guys and in it. Got to drive the van, you know. And <laughs> there's times where you just can't fight anymore. You have to give up. You have to go to sleep. And the the fact that there is a sleep demon that haunts you everywhere you're sleeping, and that shit has messed me up my whole life. Like I remember Freddy clawing my ass. And me waking up, be like, "Ah, he got me!" <laughs> <laughs> so I, I would have nightmares all the time about Freddie getting my ass before yeah. he even called you a bitch. You know? <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> bitch. Uh, but yeah, had some Freddie nightmares as a kid. Yeah, definitely has some super iconic scenes. More than one, like like the bathtub, the blood spewing out, the uh, the. The long arms. Remember the long yes. arms in, the, in that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So good. Yeah. Yeah. So. I have I think nightmares the... just talking about it, bro. <laughs> I know I will. And it's just, and it's crazy that we still keep the formula of like the final girl. You know what I mean? There's always the final girl mm -hmm. in, in movies. So. But yeah, that was my number one. Uh, a rabbit. What was your number one? Or day one? I mean. My day one. What was my day one? Oh, the thing. I watched the thing. John Carpenter's thing. And it's still just as badass as it's always been. The uh Hell yeah, Kurt the, Russell. Fucking Kurt Russell. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Scott and, uh, Russell, dude. <laughs> yeah, the uh practical effects are incredible and just out of control, completely out of control the entire time. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> like the first time the dog like Blitz open and like all those things like yeah. are like flopping around and you're like Whoa. and it like and it's making some noise that reminds me yeah. of like a rattlesnake or something. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's just like oh my god, this is insane. <laughs> once again, one of those movies that like if you if grandma and you watched it and they didn't know what was going on, they'd be like, oh sweet heaven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's been like so long since I watched that movie that like. I really, f I forgot about like the whole dynamic of the movie is them like thinking each other are an alien. Like there's a group of dudes like stranded in Antarctica or whatever, wherever they're yeah. at, Alaska, Antarctica. I don't know. But they're like, so like they don't know who's an alien, who's not. And so they're, like trying to figure out mm -hmm. and they're like, I don't know. It's a whole new dynamic to the movie. Yeah. That and I it, didn't realize when I first watched it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the tenseness of when they first do like the test. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're like testing the blood. Yeah, they're testing the blood. And then whenever it gets the one with alien blood, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> like that actually scared the shit out yeah. of me because it was like... <laughs> yeah. You're like, whoa, shit. And it has... Uh, what's the what's the one dude that's like the president in Rick and Morty? The guy with the voice? Is that him? What's his name? Yeah, he has, he has the deep he has the deep voice and he has a gap in his oh, yeah, front yeah, yeah. teeth. What's yeah, his... Yeah. Uh, I, I don't. I can't think of his name. I didn't realize that was him. That's awesome. Yeah, and he. I remember in uh, Requiem for a Dream, he was the guy that was like, "Yeah, yeah." I know it's pretty, baby, but it's not gonna <laughs> suck itself. <laughs> yeah. We were like, "Calm down, bro." <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, the thing, especially yeah. like all of the, uh, you know, all of the fucking 
visual effects like uh dude homeboy's head <laughs> yeah when, when, it's, head just... when it sprouts legs and then starts crawling away <laughs> oh my god or whenever he goes to do the uh he goes to fucking do the what's what are they called um the resuscitators yeah. or whatever Defib- defibrillators. defibrillators yeah he goes to defibrillate the resuscitators. that dude <laughs> resuscitators. dude that's that sounds like a b horror movie right uh You've heard of Terminator. <laughs> this is the resuscitator. <laughs> Anyways, he like goes to hit, hit him with it. And it just rips through his fucking yeah. skin, and then it's like teeth. And then it takes his arm. It eats yeah. his arms. Yeah, dude. He's like, ah. <laughs> Did y'all ever watch the <laughs> the was sequel prequel remake thing? Yeah. And you know, a fun fact about that movie is they filmed it all with practical effects. And the studio forced them to CGI on top of it. And then they lost so. the original footage, right? So they don't have that practical footage. Anymore. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Which the is a shame. Stupid. Executives, yeah. man. They can all burn. Yeah, dude. They ruin everything. Well, that was like the era. It like in the 2000s, like late 90s into the 2000s, it was like, let's, let's do CGI. Let's just CGI it. Hey, let's make yeah. the Rock Scorpion King CGI. Yeah. It's like we have this brand new CGI technology, but it's actually terrible. But we want to put it in every movie because yeah. it's brand uh, new technology. The Scorpion King slapped, dude. So I don't know what, what the fuck you're talking about. The movie was awful, not, honestly. Not in the Mummy. You, you keep two Dwayne whatever. the Rock. Was it the Mummy Two? Name yeah, the Mummy Two. The Mummy Two. Yeah. Scorpion King was yeah. disgusting. <laughs> he was disgusting like, a, like yeah. sick, dude. Like, he looked like that little lizard that when the internet first came around that would do, you know what I'm talking about? They would do the yes. voiceovers with him. Oh the little God. lizard that's like, whenever they take that guy that's tripping and he's and he's just babbling oh. about what, the trip he's going on and they make the lizard the say Balloon hands? Are you talking about balloon hands? Lizard? Maybe. What is he saying? Uh, not my chair, not my problem. Walking yeah, up walkways. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Mr. Balloon that's hands. That's what CGI looked like. Yeah, that, right. that, that, was, that was peak CGI. Yeah. yeah. For, for 20, like, what was that? Yeah, 2002. <laughs> but, oh, uh, so yeah, terrible. Toby, uh, what what was your movie? Uh, well, Day one movie. I thought I was going to, I still haven't seen uh, Beetlejuice, the two, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So I watched mm. Beetlejuice the other day. Also, my brother had never seen it, so I made him watch it. I made the mistake, though, of telling him a fun fact that uh, Beetlejuice isn't in the movie very much. Like, I think he's, he's got, like, a total of, like, 15 like minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah. yeah or something like that. It's very minimal. So I told him that because I thought it was a cool fun fact, but he had never seen it before. So, like, he knew that Beetlejuice wasn't in it very often. And so I think it kind of ruined it for him. So I ruined such a fun movie for my brother. <laughs> Well, that's like, I don't know. It, to me, it's never mattered because, like, his scenes are so good. They, like, if you only right. get fucking if, incredible. Yeah. If you only get 15 minutes in the movie and you're, like, the weird demon that can shape shift and shit, and, like, every time you're on screen, you're doing something crazy, then sure, let's. 15 minutes is enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you played Batman? <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, also, just a, a fun little uh, promotion. Uh, we are going to be covering uh, the Beetlejuice NES game on the Secret Levels podcast. And boy, oh boy, was it terrible. It is so terrible. So uh, go, dude, go, go every, listen to that episode when it comes out next week. Every, you know, like horror related or even, you know, darker themed IP that was turned into a Nintendo game back in the day was like always the worst one. Oh yes. <laughs> now the the Nightmare on Elm Street game, pretty okay, pretty okay, and you can play yeah, four okay. player if you have the multi tap thing. Uh, Friday the Thirteenth, it, if it's hard as balls because it's hard to figure out what to do. But yeah, all those NES games are just soft. usually. What's that? My balls are pretty soft. <laughs> <laughs> well, these games are hard as balls. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Beetlejuice is my number one. Uh, just because I thought I was going to get to watch it this weekend, I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not. So, so. Hell yeah. Grow up, dude. 
uh fucking beetlejuice what about the parts of beetlejuice what's the favorite favorite parts the snake part mm. you know the sister snake part got that as her halloween lawn decoration this year was the the big inflatable snake that's oh her, the uh sandworm. sandworm yeah the sandworm, the sandworm that's her uh that's her uh got this giant inflatable one for for halloween this year she loves that shit so honestly which one came first was it was was the freddy when he becomes a snake and eats that chick was that first or was beetlejuice becoming a snake and trying to eat that chick that chick because oh, those a, scenes are a little a similar question. right they're very similar yeah. yeah i think beetlejuice was out first i don't know beetlejuice was like 88 i believe which which Nightmare on Elm Street was that? I don't Dream remember. Dream Warriors or whatever. Uh, yeah, Maybe I think it's for Dream Warriors. 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 Dream I'm sorry. Warriors. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nice fucking model. <laughs> 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 That's such a good scene, dude. Come on down, Beetle- shoot a dog. <laughs> Beetlejuice and Freddy are a lot alike, you know. I bet yeah. they hang. You know, they be buds. <laughs> you know right? they kick it. They be besties. You dude. know they kick it. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'll eat anything you Ooh. want me to eat. I'll swallow anything you want me to swallow. Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, the Dream Warriors was 1987, so that's that's the third Nightmare on Elm Street movie. So, yeah, oh, I shit. think I think that's right. So they did it first. Ooh, yeah, that's crazy. That's one of my favorites from that movie too. So. But yeah, uh, what other stuff can we say about Beetlejuice, dude? Would you when you guys first saw it? Were you uh, did you have any? Did you know what it was about when you guys first oh. saw Beetlejuice? I was so no. young. I, I was big I, crush I, on Lydia. Yes. <laughs> you know? Dude, I yeah. was so confused after I watched it, and my mom was like, no, no, we're not doing that. She wasn't a fan <laughs> of that shit. Did y'all watch the yeah. cartoon growing up? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I did watch the cartoon. Cartoon was dope. Hell yeah. Cartoon but, was wild. But yeah. it was confusing because all of a sudden Beetlejuice is a good guy, and you're like, wait. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. and her and Lydia, the child he tried to force to marry him. They're just tight now and yeah. they just hung out. They're just besties. <laughs> uh my my dad has a, a story that he tells about Beetlejuice. It's related to Beetlejuice. Um I guess I was a little kid and I was sitting in front of the TV watching it or something and he kept telling me you got to go eat, you got to go eat. So I ran into the dining room to eat and he said I I came back in like less than a minute. And he walked in there, you know, because he's about to get on to me about, you know, you got to eat, got to eat. And my plate was clean. Like, it was just, everything was gone. And he was like, okay. And he said, he, he go, explains like, you know, there five minutes go by. And he realized my, he was sitting behind me and he saw me turn my head and my cheeks were puffed out or something. Apparently I just scooped all the food in my mouth and just had it all like squirreled <laughs> in my cheeks. Just sitting there with all that food in my mouth, just watching the movie. So... He tells that story every time we talk about Beetlejuice. You the cutest. I know. know. (laughs) It's really true. (laughs) Cutie patootie. All right, we're going back to Mike on day two. Yeah, uh, let's catch up in the chat really fast. Uh, Mikey Shero did say that Barry's Scary Movie sucks. Thanks. Uh, Thank you, Mikey. Yeah. Oh, you guys <laughs> make me feel real good. Friendship forever. <laughs> if you uh, expect positivity from your friends, you're fucking hanging out with the wrong crew, dude. That's hey, you're not. I'm those saying. aren't your real friends. Well, exactly. we already know that that there's a bunch of negative Nancys <laughs> floating around here. I don't mean to use the N word, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, also, um, Mike says, okay. Mike Rerick. I like three as well. Uh, and it's either four and five. That's good. The rest are rough. I don't remember what we were talking about on that one. Uh, he, baking soda snorter. The first two and maybe three Hellraiser movies are good. I fucking love lots of the Hellraiser so movies, good. honestly. That remake was uh, badass with, with yeah. the female yeah. uh, Hellraiser, uh, Pinhead. I did not see that. Yeah. It was so good. Uh, baking soda snorter. If you ever watch Bloodline, I thought Bloodline, Bloodline was is sick. sick. Bloodline yeah. is sick because it's three different generations that all have the box, and you see what happens to all three of them, and it's pretty dope, yeah. honestly. Like one of the sickest murders by the box 
it pretty much slits this, the top of this dude's head off at the at the jawline or the mouth line. <laughs> Out. <laughs> uh, Behold. Oh, baking soda snorter says the thing is very overrated in my opinion. Ooh, 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 ooh. rough words, dude. Okay, coming into the pain. You better walk into the pain cave, dog. Hot take. (laughs) Yeah, that is a hot take. But you know what? We all have opinions. Some Uh, some of some are good. Some are bad. You know, Chucky was always in my nightmares. Oh, I used to love Chucky, dude. Or I mean, I I still love Chucky, but when I was a kid. Ooh, baby. I was terrified of Chucky. I remember the first time it was on TBS or some shit. I was like watching it, taking. <laughs> and I was like, but then I wouldn't look away. I was like, I want to watch it though. So I had a I had a My Buddy doll. You guys remember that? My Buddy. Yeah. My Buddy. Anyways, uh, after I watched Chucky, stuffed that thing in my closet at the bottom of the toy chest. <laughs> and my brother would break it out and he'd be like... I'm Chucky, I'm gonna get you. And then they threw it at me one time and it hit the corner of my bed and its head popped off and rolled at me. <laughs> and I was like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't do dolls, man. I don't yeah. I'm not a big fan oh. of dolls at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Dolls are scurry. We yeah. were just talking about Those Robert. Are the first the doll. things that come and kill Hard you. Pass on dolls. Yeah, Robert the doll, bro. Nope. You trying to go to Key West, Florida and check out that <laughs> Doll. My Don't. grandma had these like old ceramic dolls that she kept in their guest room on her bed. Yeah. And they're like, you know, they have like frilly, frilly dresses and their eyes like oh, they flop down you. and open like that. They're, oh, I hated them. Every time I went in that room, I felt like I was going to pee my pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's your ghost detector. And, is and, you know, I'm just like staring at them the whole time as I'm walking. <laughs> Making sure they don't creep sure up on me. Like yeah, dude, you got to watch your back around porcelain dolls and stuff. That's like, yeah. That's like the one thing that creeps me out really bad. Hell yeah. dolls. Uh, Thomas Clark says, Jason and Chucky were the ones that gave me nightmares as a kid. Hell yeah. Genty Boy 91 I've got a in-depth hot take on the newest Halloween trilogy. Well, shit. Lay it on us. And, uh, and I'll say it here in a second. Uh, Baking Soda Snorter says, all right, I'll put Bloodline on my list. Hell yeah. You, hopefully you will not regret, but like I said, we all got opinions. Yeah. Denty Boy 91 says the events in Halloween ends should have happened first before Halloween kills. Michael should have been me- Mia after Halloween 2018 thinking he's gone. Okay. Uh, Baking Soda Snorter. Yeah, my top two favorites were Hellraiser and Chucky. All right. Let's go. What was the, what was, uh, oh, what was mine? Yeah. My number two. My day two was, well, let's see here. It wasn't revenge. It was, oh, it was motherfucking Tales from the Hood. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Dude, honestly. Mike made me watch this one many times. Bro, I, even when I put it on the other night, I was like, (laughs) I was like, yo, I'm just going to put this on. I remember liking it, but I don't remember anything about it. And as I watched it, I was like, I cannot believe how good this shit is. Seriously. <laughs> and it's like all like super, I don't know, like it starts, it starts with like a police brutality, like ep- it's like an anthology series, right? So they have like four different stories in the movie, but it seriously starts with like cops pulling over a guy, a black guy, and then beating the shit out of him and fucking killing him. And whenever and and the other black cop that they send home and they're like yo chill out get out of here we're taking him home he starts having visions of the dude they killed because he was like well respected man in the community and he's like bring them to me and I was like I was seriously like dude I forgot how good this movie is this is the shit (laughs) so if y'all have a chance go see or pff, go rent or whatever. <laughs> go, go to Blockbuster. Yeah, go, go rent. Go, 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 go rent. Go rent. Because I remember Damn. seeing that yeah. that VHS in the movie store yeah, so yeah. many times. Yeah, but it's it's definitely super fun. It's like super fucking 90s, but it's dope as hell. I loved it. So. Is Keith David in that as well? Yeah. Yeah, he's... No, no, no. Oh, yeah, I think he is. He's in it, but I don't think... Okay, there's... a. I, there's a guy that looks like Keith David in it too that plays 
I'm not even going to give it away, dude. <laughs> I'm not even going to give it away. No spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> On a 30-year-old movie. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, go check it out. Tales from the Hood. It's like it's like perfect 90s like because the main story that like drives you into like someone telling you these smaller stories is like three 90s gangster dudes that are all like obviously not the smartest dudes and they're all like dude let's go in here like we gotta go talk to this dude at the funeral director because they got our shit or something and then so you're just like watching a version of like what's that movie uh don't be a menace almost yeah it's like it's seriously like a parody kind of style movie where they throw in horror elements and shit. So I don't yeah. know. It's, not it's quite just... scary movie, but still kind of parody ish. <laughs> kind of like, I don't know. It's just like the, the nineties quirkiness of, of the fucking leprechaun movie. movies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's kinda. not as like, oh, campy is don't be a menace. You know? or, yeah. Yeah. Or it's not, a, yeah, it's not as goofy, like, but yeah, it like goofy. takes all those elements. Like it's almost, it's just riffing <laughs> on that nineties fucking gangster <laughs> shit and making horror movies out of it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, check it out. It's on prime. I believe right now. Hmm. I'll have to check it. Rabbit. out. Rabbit. Rabbit. What was me? your day two? My day two. Um, is it the substance? Oh yeah, the substance. The a newer movie. Yeah, I also Never, saw the substance with that. him. Limited release in theaters, I think. I think it's almost already you can rent it, but it just came out, and it's actually paired with the thing. It actually makes a great double feature because this movie also has incredible practical effects, um, and is also just out of control the entire time. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it dude. builds it builds from the start, but even the what happens in the beginning, it's like this director likes just to, for people to be naked on screen the entire time of the movies, <laughs> <laughs> apparently. So you get like uh, Demi Moore and uh, what's her name? Margaret Qualley, I think her name is. I can't remember. Um, yeah. But they're just both butt naked for the first like half of the movie. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> come or what, dude? Uh, I mean, I was, def- I was definitely scaroused the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> that's being scared it's called, in the morning. That's called the fear. That's called the fear boner. <laughs> it's a fear right? boner. That's a fear boner. So what's I like it, aroused. What's it about? I, I've never heard of this one. Basically, it's uh, Demi Moore's character is like a washed up um, television star, movie star, actress. She has a star on the Walk of Fame, but she's getting old now. She's getting pushed out of her job, so she randomly gets this like substance like a, it's like a secret well, she, it's like a secret thing she find someone gives her yeah. the jump drive and the ad the ad that it shows her is like yeah. do you want to create a younger better you and like that's pretty much like yeah how i've sold it to people because <laughs> i don't want to be you don't want to go talk yeah. about the entire yeah. plot of the movie you want to you want to know that she is getting older and she someone gives her a thing that's like create a better you that's younger and prettier and all this shit. Yeah. And that's where they get and that's you. where it starts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, and that's, that's the part that I, that really gets me. And like, why I think a lot of people, even if they hate it, can relate while you watch the movie is like, we're all getting older and you know, society is telling us you're getting older. You don't look as good. You're looking rough. You know what I mean? And, I feel like every person that's getting into their thirties or beyond are, is going to relate with the main character immediately. So that's why when all the shit hits the fan, you're just like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> is this what you and were telling gets, me about earlier? Yeah. And then it gets oh, to like okay. the point where you're like, yeah, okay. It can't get any crazier. Right. Yeah. And then it gets crazier. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. fair warning. Like there's a bit of like, it gets wild at the end. So you have to like, yeah, just don't. A lot eat. of a lot of <laughs> suspension of disbelief, you know. Just just go with it. Like you if just... you if you're at an Alamo Draft House or like a movie grill, just be like, yeah, don't be eating. You know. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll skip it. You know, you just have a protein shake at the beginning and tough oh, dude, out the, the movie because oh, the, the flatbreads at Alamo Draft House, bro. <laughs> well, you got you have the whole first half of the movie to yeah, eat your food. That's true. Well, just don't be eating yeah. at the second half of the movie. Yeah, I would just I'd try to scarf it. <laughs> Well, good news is I'm over. never going to watch it, so it works out. That's great. <laughs> but he will eat flatbread. I, I really think... will eat flatbread <laughs> pizza. <laughs> I, I do think Allie would appreciate that movie, though. You should tell her. 
check it out. I will tell her, yeah, for sure. I'll yeah, tell yeah. her, yeah. And plus, Demi Moore hasn't been in a movie for like how long at this point, and she looks yeah. so good still. So she killed that's it. the yeah, Demi Moore awesome. movie I watched with striptease. Damn, yeah, dude. <laughs> so th- that's on his horror. That was, list. That's, that's on your horror list. <laughs> yeah, that's my horror list. <laughs> we I talked love, about her. I love that's my horror, horror list. movies. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I said horror movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Horror movies. Yeah. Don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Showgirls. <laughs> horror movies. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. Horror movies. <laughs> classic they got they got special effects in that too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah anyway. uh tobe toberone all right uh i made so i'm basically i'm just going through and making my brother watch movies with me uh the fly he had never seen the fly the one with, nice. uh awesome. what's his name why am i blanking on his name jeff goldblum jeff goldblum such and it's a Cronenberg. Fuck Jeff Goldblum, man. Oh, you better stop. <laughs> this oh, is, a, dude, come on. Come on. Joke. Come on, man. He in, is so uh, good in this, though. Like, Pineapple it's... Express. Oh. Man, fuck Jeff yeah. Goldblum, man. <laughs> yeah. I, Jeff Goldblum is a national treasure. I would never mean that about that man. Come on. Yeah. We met him. Anyway, we continue. Met him, yeah. Sorry, Toby. We did proof of that. Sorry, Toby. Yeah. Continue. <laughs> oh, no. I was just saying, that's it's such a good movie. Did y'all ever see the sequel? The saddest scene I've ever seen in my life. I, are you going to watch the sequel? I'll spoil it right now because it's a. You can it's do a, it. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's twenty years old, right? So <laughs> it takes place directly after the first movie. I'm not going to give everything away, but uh, basically, he has a son. The the uh, Jeff Goldblum's character had a son, and that's who's in the second one. And oh, they're yeah. they're monitoring him in this like facility trying to like you know see like is he gonna have any fly genes like his dad and there's a dog that they spliced in with these fly genes or something i can't remember it's been so long anyways the dog becomes fly like just like you know his dad did in the first movie and the kid has to shoot it with a shotgun. The fucking saddest, most traumatic scene I've ever seen in a movie Old when I was Yeller. a kid. Cool. You never seen Old Yeller, dude? <laughs> no, I have, but this one's so much worse. Like the kid, oh my god, it's just it's so horrific just watching that scene. I can't watch that movie because of that scene. But yeah. the fly, the first one, so good. My brother poked so many plot holes in it though that pissed me off. He was like, Where'd the monkeys go? Where'd the monkeys go? Like, shut the uh-huh. fuck up and just enjoy shut this. <laughs> God, you can, like I. That the movie door. makes me sick to my stomach, and I can't watch it. It's rough. What the fly? Yeah. The Why? body. You don't like body horror stuff? Oh, so gross! It is gross. Yeah, it it's is when gross. he's throwing up on his food and eating it. That's that scene makes me want to vomit. <laughs> you don't do that already. And I can watch a lot of gory shit. I have watched a lot of gory shit in my life, but that scene, like, ugh, I don't know. Um, what is it with uh, like seventies, eighties, <laughs> like even early nineties, like uh, prosthetics and stuff that they use? Like everything looks so fucking sweaty. Like was and wet. The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like was even wet. the actors look like they're sweating all the time. They're just glistening a little bit. It's like before they hit, they say action. They get a squirt bottle and squirt them in the face, and they're just glistening always. Every eighties movie. Yeah. They're like, ah, it looks dry. <laughs> You're so dry looking. They, probably, they, yeah, dry. they probably didn't have AC and stuff in the studios and all that other <laughs> yeah. shit. So, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And those probably, lights, those yeah. big ass lights are hot as shit. Yeah, dude, they're hot as fuck, dude. But even like, like the thing, his, like the thing, yeah. it, it, everything looks just wet in, in those movies. It's, it's yeah. so gross. It's not palpitating enough like <laughs> can somebody spray it i think it looks ju- better it's if not it's, juicy it's enough. Like, <laughs> we need to make it look yeah. more juicy yeah <laughs> it, look, it doesn't juicy. look like it's gonna pop <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's it's it is a pretty nasty we need uh, more uh, but that's part <laughs> of the oil. allure like you want to ha- feel the pain for somebody that's transforming into some nasty fly especially whenever it like the final thing oh the jaw part Ugh. the jaw comes off i'm brindle fly brindle fly so gross yeah I, I but don't it's still to... yeah it, it's terrifying so disgusting <laughs> and jeff goldblum hey uh uh it's it's not over uh till the fat lady sings <laughs> right must go faster <laughs> faster 
Is that why did he had all that baby oil? So he can make me... <laughs> that baby oil. <laughs> so so he makes things all yeah. juicy. Look, yeah. think about it. Even in Jurassic Park, when he's got his shirt off and he's all sexy on the table, like he's fucking just sweaty and glistening. Like it's just yeah. '90s movies because they're in a tropical fucking, environment. Well, yeah. that that would make sense. You got your leg bit off and shit, bro. You hey, fucking be sweating too. Dog. You're right, but I'm just saying every every action movie or horror movie from the '90s and before, everyone's just sweaty and glistening. It's beautiful. I don't know. I kind of feel like he was his sexiest in Independence Day, you know, because he's just like kind of getting old. He's got the glasses going on. He's so smart, you know. <laughs> he's Independence so smart. Independence Day was a great was a great Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, that's that's peak peak yeah, Jeff peak, Goldblum. Oh yeah, that's know? peak Jeff Goldblum. Hell yeah! Ah, yeah, <laughs> uh, we've got to uh, give them uh, a virus. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, okay. Uh, to wait, you are you just? Yeah, I just uh, that's it, right? right that's you. it for Good now, morning, dude. Yeah, we're on day three. We uh, today is the third, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Cool. What do you so got? yeah, that. Uh, oh, day three. Oh, uh, did we watch that movie after midnight? Oh, last night? yeah, we did. Yeah, we <laughs> technically, did. I think. Yeah, that uh, we watched <laughs> Revenge. Me and Rabbit watched Revenge. Revenge. We actually watched this one because it is uh, the person who directed The Substance. This was a movie she did before The Substance. And I enjoyed it, but there is kind of like, there's some things that you kind of just have to accept when you go into this director's world. I feel like it's the type of, you know, it's the type of things where like, you want to kind of be like, what? that that's really going to happen like if this per, if this person does that that's what's going to happen and like it doesn't make sense to you but there are things in this that this director does that you, that just happen and you just have to accept it and it's almost laughable sometimes but it seems like it's in this fake satire world where it all happens you know what i mean that's certainly what it was like in the substance and this one kind of had that vibe too uh but yeah this one is like classic revenge story like it's kind of like spit on your grave like you got you got this well, i don't even know where they're from they're french they're french yeah this french dude i think the director's french as well That's okay why. this french dude like brings home a chick from la or not even his home it's like a place that they really don't tell you where it's at and he's super rich and he's married but he's bringing out his girl that he met in la he's bringing him bringing her to this random ass location where he meets some other dudes to go hunting but they show up early and they're like they're like in awe of the girl right they're just like yeah. staring her down like oh man yes, he's a bitch. she's so hot Swing. Swing. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but then wow they put that in there huh <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then the but then the main guy that's like you know obviously the love interest or whatever takes off and goes to town and then the one of the other dudes gets a little weird and rhymes with grape yeah <laughs> so he tr he does some things and pretty much they the main guy comes back and he's like well i guess we're just gonna have to kill her you know <laughs> <laughs> and so she ends up living and it's a classic revenge story just like spit on your grave so yeah it was obviously it was like a little uneasy to watch towards the beginning but after that it's all about the kills baby so but yeah rabbit what'd you it was what'd a you decent say? like yeah it was a decent it like you said it's basically i spit on your grave just you know in a different location a prettier people I guess. yeah shot <laughs> like the shots are all pretty yeah, like everything's the, pretty yeah. until it, everything starts getting gross. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's it's it's classic classic revenge movie. Yeah, um, I actually really liked it too. Um, it was uh, I don't know. I feel like I don't want to say this sounds so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they fucked her up enough in the beginning to make it justified that she murders all of them <laughs> at the end. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, yeah. with I Spit on Your Grave, oh, those movies are like, the first half of those movies are almost unwatchable. They're like, it's so brutal and disgusting uh -huh. at the beginning of those movies, like what they do. It justifies what she does to them 
you know, in the second half. Yeah. Like, you almost feel like she's, I don't know, it makes you feel for her and like. Right. But this one is like, they didn't, it was like, yeah, they kind of, you know, whatever. Right. And then tried to kill her and it didn't work. But it wasn't like fucked up enough in my opinion. I don't know. But you can't make a movie, I mean, you can't make a movie like that nowadays or people, you know, will lose their shit. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, to to kind of mention some of the things I'm talking about when it comes to like unrealistic, and you just kind of have to accept it because it's like this weird satire world. One, they, one every time, like both movies that she's directed, lots of techno, like lots, <laughs> lots of like Man, that's techno unbelievable. And stuff. Yeah, and then uh, one thing she did was like you know they they you know this is all spoilers, guys. If you don't, if you've never seen it, she gets thrown. You know, they try to throw her off a thing to kill her, and she lands on a tree, and it's and it pokes through her, and she's kind of like pinned up. She ends up getting out, and then she, you know, try, she cauterizes her wound, but she does it with a Mexican beer can. Yeah, a Mexican beer can. <laughs> it says Mexican beer. It says Mexican beer. It's like an eagle. <laughs> it's like an eagle on That's the a... can, and she like seriously. That's incredible. She she cuts it up, the can open and makes it a flat sheet, heats it up with a big on a big knife and then cauterizes her wound but when she wakes up she realizes like the eagle (laughs) and the and the beer can lettering (laughs) literally mexican beer is like on her branded after that so she like looks badass with her like eagle like yeah Um. and so i was like we were kind of like, okay, I guess that. And then, you know, that's where I was like, yeah, this director really just does things that's like, we're doing it for style. It doesn't have to make yeah, sense. Don't worry about it. Stop <laughs> don't worry about it. Yeah. It's a movie. Yeah. Don't think hard about it. Just eat your oh, popcorn and shut up and watch it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If anyone says that couldn't happen in real life, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> just watch the movie. Yeah, yeah. Just watch the movie. Yeah. There's also a part that was very cringe where this dude stepped on glass oh my god yes that's and it. he tried like four different times to pull that piece of glass out and, and you're just like <laughs> yeah that, was, time, that part was gnarly he's like it's like <laughs> digging in there it's like it's like it's like he's digging for a booger dude or something oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah so gnarly yeah dude yeah, if you're squeamish. For a booger. You probably don't want to watch these movies. <laughs> for a uh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we're basically giving Fuzz the list of movies not to watch. That's all we're doing yeah, right now, dude. Like, yeah, no, no. Some of like, yeah, man. I, I don't know. Like, y'all are tough. I, I, I just. Don't <laughs> oh man, I can't just. But can't it's fun because you're it. just like when it happens, you're just like laugh. We were just laughing. The yeah, whole time. See, was like, oh my no, god, dude, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. for real. Like, like it makes you giggle, you know. Yeah, it do- and like uh, jump scare movies make me giggle. Yeah, but like I don't want to feel that way. So like, cool, man. Yeah. Um, do you like haunted like- houses? Oh fuck no! God oh. damn it! <laughs> fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay Whoa, no, i remember the last time i went to a haunted house was with john and john was in front of me and this haunted house it was fucking nuts and all of a sudden this like woman jumps out and she starts like screaming and then we could feel fucking i felt somebody touch me so i like pushed john into this woman and ran out the exit i was like nah fuck this shit i'm not nope i'm out that was the last haunted house I was ever in. I was, I was like 18, 19, maybe. That was the last haunted house I was in. I'm 37 now. I don't fuck with that shit. I don't like being touched. I don't like fucking being scared. Fuck all that shit. I ain't doing it. I love me some haunted houses. I like mainly like to see the production, but if you could dupe me, if you could trick me into thinking, ah, yeah. oh, the dude's going to pop out here or there, and you do it some other way i'm like yeah dude you, you, good job you get a raise sir yeah <laughs> i'm swinging first that's your fun uh they're not i'm swinging first <laughs> it scares me i'm swinging it has a chainsaw on my face i'm fucking swinging it chases me i'm dude, swinging it just dude, is remember, what it is remember when we came up with our own haunted houses 
that was a pretty fun one. That was a long was time ago, ago, wasn't it? Yeah, that was, that was a very yeah. long time ago. I yeah, I was I, I was always saying that the the two of my ideas that that I think are so fun are, is like you go into a haunted house and like it's just a bunch of it's like every ex girlfriend you've ever had. <laughs> you're like oh no oh, this is oh, so no. scary. Terrible. <laughs> yeah and you're with your you new with your this. new yeah you're with your new girlfriend and they're all just like how are things going or or another one i too. just i just got scared uh just, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm yeah. yeah i'm peeing my pants right now. <laughs> yeah <laughs> got a or another right the now. other one is uh like halfway through the haunted house it just ends up being like a bunch of cops and they're all like we know you've got dope on you we know <laughs> and like everyone's like oh no i who are we talking to oh my god this is fucked <laughs> like nah just kidding get out of here and that is part of the part of the haunted house <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that would be was, so sick. That would be a no, no, nah, man. No, it wouldn't. It would be horrible. <laughs> they fuck, fuck all that shit. Like, oh God, you guys are fucking tough. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, what, what was what? What's your third? Uh, what's your third movie so my here? my uh, one I'm gonna watch tonight. I love this movie. I've only watched it once before, uh, but I loved it, so I want to see if I still love it. The Void. The it's... Void. I remember watching The Void and thinking it was sick. It is It is like a new age, the thing, like practical effect-wise. So if you yeah. like the thing, I think this movie is going to be right up your alley. If, uh, not spoiling too much for a movie that's been out for several years. If you like cults, um, being isolated no. into one spot, nope. uh, just the great practical effects. Some some resembling the thing. I think this is a great movie. It's so much fun. I really like it. It's so creepy. Yeah. And it, honestly, I still don't. The, I don't know what happened at the end. I don't know what happened. So I'm, I, I need to rewatch it tonight. And I'll let you know next week if it held up and whatever. But I love that movie. I think I'm gonna watch that too. Yeah. Um. So interesting. Man, that's too. a good one. And so, it fits with too. the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, interesting fact. Which that, yours yours uh, made me want to watch the thing now. So we're we're just gonna swap next week. <laughs> so there's two different people on the void. Uh, uh, for like the credits of directing, and one of them is Stephen Kostansky. Uh, and it says he was de credited with makeup department director and producer, and he actually did Psycho Goreman. Oh, yeah. And oh, shit, was, really? And he was in the makeup department for In a Violent Nature oh, and Leprechaun <laughs> Returns and It. In so, a Violent Nature. That one's going to be on my list. What was month? that movie? In a Violent Nature was like. Oh, Jason... I still haven't seen that. I want to see that so badly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, watch it's it. It's actually dude. it's oh on. My God. It's I, on I mean, Prime, I think. Right God now. God damn it! That's yeah, gonna be my tomorrow movie. Right dude, watch it. I'm gonna watch yeah, it. This me month too. Too. Dude, it's so good. <laughs> Fuzz. Fuzz, Fuzz, you would hate that movie, dude, honestly, because it, there is some brutal kills in that movie. So, oh, dude, I was that, that doesn't bother me. It's the fucking just. I don't like being scared, man. It's just not fun for me. <laughs> so, I already, I already deal with anxiety every day and take medicine for it i don't need to have anxiety about Hurry being day. fucking scared uh, yeah i need Hurry to watch day. i need to watch in a violent nature but tomorrow they're releasing that uh crazy house that i've been waiting for i've been waiting for this movie oh uh, yes Town? In no the documentary <laughs> on shifty I shell that dude died Didn't that dude die? <laughs> no this crazy soon, house dog. movie it looks it's a it's like a sitcom but it's not. I don't know if it counts as horror. I don't know if I can add it to my list. Uh, Say horish, horish. But yeah, it's like a sitcom. But then all of a sudden, it turns real, and like instead of having like the laugh track from the audience and stuff, like it becomes really real. And then they just start destroying the set and breaking the fourth wall. It looks incredible. I, I want to see it. That's so. cool. Anyways, yeah. Okay, so. I was thinking about this too. Uh, what you know? What actually classified as a horror movie? Because when we watched Revenge, it's like just a revenge tale, but it is classified as horror. So, an intense. Okay, you put 
horror, an intense feeling of fear, shock, or disgust, right? Mm -hmm. So a horror movie doesn't necessarily have to have any certain theme except for trying to scare you, uh, trying to pull out your fear, shock, or disgust. So a lot of different things can be classified as horror. They don't necessarily have to have, like, Freddy Krueger or shit. Right. You know what I mean? It's not a slasher or... Uh, it's more broad than, than those. I've always, I've always wondered, are thrillers and horrors considered the same thing because some horrors are thrillers and some thrillers are horrors. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So I've always, even Allie and I were talking about it today after you guys had said something, I, she was like, so we were talking about movies and I was like, I don't know if that's more of a thriller or more of a horror. Like what category do they fall in? You know what I'm saying? Right. I feel like thrillers are usually based in like real life, like it's like a true crime right. Right. or, you know, or, or you know something that's it's like murders or you know, based then, on true stories like things based like on, that. Yeah, but then like, uh, horror movies are more like fantastical or like having to deal with like ghosts and serial killer. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, what is that? I don't know what the word for that would be, but uh. Yeah, just like more like fantasy stuff. Mm. Like, like Freddy Krueger is like a fucking fantasy, you know, sleep demon. Sleep I demon. Never, yeah, I never like, had that fantasy, man. It's based on. Uh, <laughs> I'll think of the word at some point. You never picture him just pulling you off with that glove. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I have pictured is him. Wait a minute. What I have pictured is just you like, said, yo, dude. You said pulling you, you off. Pull, pulling me off, dude. What is this? The 80s? You don't, you don't look at Edward it, scissor hand job and you, dude. Oh, dude. Pulling you oh, off. Dude, you fucking, you've never scissor, <laughs> Edward scissor hand you know, jobbed yourself, dude. Edward scissor you. hand job? No. You, you, never, you never Edward scissor hand jobbed yourself, dude? Come on, grow Damn. up. Damn. You used to be a dry guy when you were uh, younger, dude. You were a dry guy, and that yeah. was Edward Scissor Handy, dude. It all started with those little scissors you had in like the fifth grade, you know? Yeah, what I mean? dude. The, you the ones the that aren't supposed to like cut skin or whatever. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, they will. <laughs> they will if you do it enough times. If you do it enough times in one day, baby. If you do it enough times in dude. one day. <laughs> We just killed Toby, dude. I, there's too much that happened. <laughs> pulling off, jerking off with scissors. Dude. Too much just Bro. happened. Uh, dude, you pulling you me off right now? Pulled on it? Dude, you've never pulled on it? Dude, you, you pulling me off? Pulled... <laughs> it's just Freddy Krueger <laughs> pulling you off. I don't know. That... Dude, as, a, as a kid, <sighs> do you know how many times I heard a knock on my door and, son, are you pulling on it? Come on, let's go. Like, <laughs> that, that, that was a real part of my life, dude. That's, That's a that real pain. Thing. That could be classified as horror. You being scared because your fucking dad knocked on the door while you were pulling it off. Dude, I was, I was looking for yeah. ticks. Again, Nine times out of ten, he was, was right. I was, looking, I was looking for ticks, man. I wasn't <laughs> masturbating. I was looking for ticks. It's just, I've heard, Hours. I've heard of pulling it off, but just I've never heard of someone like using it like that. Like, oh, did you get pulled off last night? Like, I don't know. Like... Just <laughs> someone else pulling you off. I don't know. Grow up, Toby. Jeez. I need to. Up. Read a book, dude. <laughs> it's a common it's, name in the world. A Read a fucking book for once, dude. <laughs> Genty Boy just said, one, two, Freddy's pulling <laughs> on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but real quick. Three, we're gonna have four, this you came on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude. So. Freddie walked in and and was pulling on you. Would you tell him to stop, or would you just be like, "All right"? I'd be like, you do? "Kruger, which hand is he using? I, the one with the claws?" The... Oh yeah, he's he's fucking pulling on it with the claws, dude. Grow up. Come on. Your, your wiener's gonna look like you put a hot dog in the microwave. Yeah, <laughs> dude. You make him little those little octopus. He's split out the middle. <laughs> Man, I hate this. I'm just saying, are you gonna <laughs> stop him or not? You know what I mean? Like that's where I'm at. Uh, All right, let me catch up on the chat, and then we will move on to the next part of the show. Uh, talk about Freddy Krueger. Who? What horror character do you want to jerk you off the most? <laughs> Coming up next. I'm picking Chucky, so it makes my wiener. Look <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what is happening? Dude, Genty Boy said he's claw dogging it. Claw <laughs> dogging. That's so good, dude. Oh fuck. Guys, if you want, leave all the movies you've been watching in the comments too. So 
We will see you later, nerds.